Alright, welcome back. Uh, we're going to go over how to control the number of rows you see per page in SQL Server. Uh, normally, by default, it does it on its own, and you don't know exactly how many rows you're going to see per page. Normally, somewhere around 40 to 50. But we're going to actually put an expression in here so we can actually count those rows, because at present, we don't see actually how many rows each row we have on this page unless we physically count so we don't want to do that let's go over here to the design view and we're going to add a column right here that we can use to actually uh, have the row numbers counted let's go down we're going to insert row so we actually want to insert a column column and we're going to do it to the left. Alright, so what we're going to input in here is an expression. So let's uh, right click on the uh, new row or column that we just added and go down to expression. And we're going to use the row number function. Let's go down to common functions, miscellaneous, and we're going to use row number. And it's going to count the rows. We're going to add nothing here because we're not passing anything into the expression, we just wanted to count the rows. Let's hit OK there, and let's preview the number of rows that we had there. As you can see, that expression is counting the number of rows for me. And let's scroll down and see how many we have. So we have 40 per page. We have what, two pages here. So we have another page. Okay. Alright, let's go back. We'll actually, we'll go back to our design view. Okay, we have our expression in place. And as of right now, we know that there is 40 records per page. Alright, now one way to modify the number of records per page is what we can do as long as we're in our design view, we can come up top to where it says report, and what we're going to do is change the page size. We'll go down to report properties, and what we can do is change one of the different paper sizes. Uh, you also have A4, A5, and the regular letter size. Uh, we'll come down to custom. Now let's see, the height is 11 inches, let's change it, let's go half and see what it does. Let's go 6. Let's hit OK. And let's do a preview. And let's scroll down. As you can see, we cut it in half. We were just at 40 and now we're down to 20. And this is just changing the actual page size to change the number of records that we see per page. So let's go to the next page. As you can see, only 20 records there. Well, actually, a little bit more. Let's see. But we do see that our page side did decrease. That's the most important thing.